Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. I am privileged today to be joined on the summit by Nada Malwad, who has been named the NAIA Player of the Year and the Attacker of the Year for volleyball for 2021. Nada, there are a number of other things we're going to mention over the course of the next few minutes here, but let's just start right there. Player of the Year, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Well, listen, you've done it in a lot of ways. Along with Player of the Year, they've also named you the Attacker of the Year. You had 5.09 kills per set, one of only two players in the NAI that had more than five kills per set. You also did it hitting 355, which is a very good number on top of that. And then you got 2.99 digs. Okay, off the record, I'm going to go ahead and say it's three digs. But 2.99 digs per set, too. Uh, you, this is the complete package. You get it all done offensively and defensively. Talk about being able to play so many different roles for your team. Um, well, I think it's uh, thanks to all the people that um, have taught me uh, volleyball from since the very beginning. Um, well, back home when I was a kid, um, we always were um, able to kind of um, play – um, like a big role in the team, um, just you just had to be um, doing everything because you had to be a complete player. Um, so that goes thanks to all the people that taught me actually how to play volleyball because um, they're the people who got me where I am right now. So all the stats and all the numbers that I just got right now is all 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 goes to them right at the moment because. It's all thanks to them. Yeah, no matter what. (laughs) Well, those people have a lot to celebrate. They have a lot to be proud of for what you've been able to accomplish. And and, and talking about that, too, and and you might imagine with being named the player of the year in the NAI that 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 would go along with that would be being on the first team in the All-American list. And you are this year. But it's more than just that because your career is winding down and and you need to be recognized for what this is. It's not just first team All-American this year. Not once, not twice, not three times, not even four times, which is a very, very good number. Five times, five times first team All-American. I know the, the COVID year was involved in that, but you still had to get out and play those matches too. So you've accomplished something that no one has ever before and likely ever will again accomplish has that sunk in um actually not really i mean <laughs> it's 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 still crazy to me to be honest i mean every day i come back i just i just i'm hungry for more you know and just every thing we talk me personally talk to talking to coach mike it's always like um he is the one that has faith in me and he always tells me okay well even for for um the last year um i did it with well actually the fifth year I didn't know if I was coming or not. I, I, um, it was like kind of 50, 50 and he was the one who was like pushing me. He was like, um, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a good chance to be a five time all American. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't expect that I will do it, but he had so much faith in me and, 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 you know, I just got into it and he still, it still hasn't been, I haven't processed that yet, I guess. (laughs) In time. In time, I know that's going to sink in as to what an accomplishment that is. We're visiting with Nada Malwad here on the summit, and I encourage you, please do consider subscribing to the channel, Midwest Sports Net. We talk about small college sports throughout the Midwest and beyond. And, and Nada, it's it's uh, obviously we, we talk so much about what you've done, and, and, and folks around Park, and I think all of the NAI will for years to come talk about what you've done. I'm sure there are a lot of coaches that are glad that you're going to be graduating and, <laughs> and moving on. But uh, in light of that, you, you had a number of other you know players, All-American honors with your sister, Nora, with uh, another teammate in Deborah Bernardi. Of course, your coach, you call him Coach Mike, Coach Mike Telemontes, who is the coach of the year as well. So many pieces to the puzzle this year that wound up in a national runner-up finish for the program. Talk about that. Um, well, actually, I have uh, mentioned that before. Um, the decision of me coming back was, was most of it was coming because um, I unfortunately couldn't finish it the right way last year. And I know that this program or this group of people, they had um, so much, so much to do. And I knew I like, I knew that we could do something. Um, so um, I was like, it's worth coming back. And this group of um, people, the program itself, it's worth coming back. And it's worth, it's worth fighting uh, back for the national title. Um, and so um, I came back to play with them again. And uh, the team, and the coaching staff, everyone, had the goal since day one, and we never 
be able to, you know, not to do that goal. <laughs> so um, it was it was really really nice go coming back and playing and fighting for the uh, championship um, again. Unfortunately, we couldn't finish it the right way, uh, but I am just extremely proud of how the way how we finished. Um, I knew that we were we would come back um, stronger. And um, I was, I'm just super, super proud to share the court with Deborah, Nora, and everyone else. Um, they are players that deserve um, all the um, trophies or accomplishments that they have accomplished, as well as um, to be coached by coach uh, Mike Delamantis. Um, he's a great coach. Um, he has done an amazing job this uh, season of keeping everyone healthy, keeping everyone uh, safe. Um, so I am just extremely proud of each one of them. Well, talk about your time then uh, in Parkville, 34-3 and three this year with a 31-game or 31-match winning streak at, at one point in time. And, you, you know, you talk about uh, not wanting to finish the way that you wanted to. I understand that. But the championship match went to five sets. I mean, it just uh -huh. uh, coming up against, again, a very good Missouri Baptist team as well. So um, a lot to be said for the season that you had. But in, in your time, they're 156 and 16. So what an impressive record over five years there, four and a half, however you want to add it up. Can you, can you talk a little bit about, about your time in, in Parkville and, and what that the program means? Um, I hope that doesn't get me emotional because this was still, <laughs> I haven't processed that yet too. Uh, but I mean, it's been, it's been a great um, run. It's been, it's been just, it's crazy to think about it that it's already over, you know? So um, I just, it has, it has been really, 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 really um, emotional for the past um, few days uh, because I knew that there is no coming back. And um, every, every time since I committed to park, I know that it's all about winning, you know? Um, so that is something that not a lot of teams um, have because um, it's like more about, okay, it's a, it's a college sport. So you may lose and you, you may learn, but you may lose and you, you may uh, win. But um, our mentality with um, Coach Mike was like, okay, we're winning. <laughs> <laughs> and then after we're winning, we're winning another thing. After we're winning, we're winning another thing. So um, it's just the mentality that um, I had here at Park is really, um, has affected me a lot. Um, and it just played a huge role in um, my personality in general. Like I just came as a 17 year old or 18 year old. Um, and um, just the comparison between who I am right now is, and the comparison between who I was when I came here is huge. Um, so just coming here and playing for part not only changed the way how I play or grow me as a player, it grew me as a person and um, as a teammate and as a classmate, as a sister as well. So um, it just has been an amazing time and it just I just hoped I will never finish that time, but um, well, every everything has an end. So I think it's 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 my time to have a, to to have an end right now. <laughs> Well, listen. Thank you for for working through that, and and I know that uh, there's still more to process. I'll 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 wrap up our time then with this question, and and I probably haven't processed this as much either then, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Uh, what what is ahead then? Uh, you know, I I know that there are other things you you've been building toward things beyond just the the court too. I know you spent time in the classroom, and uh, what what are some of the things that that might be in your future? Um, well, I'm looking uh, to expand my volleyball career um, furthermore. Um, so I am um, hoping to go professionally. Um, I have gotten some offers uh, from either uh, back home or anywhere else. Um, so volleyball will still be something in my in my life for the upcoming years, and um, hopefully, I will do and achieve great things. And tell the folks where back home is. Uh, what was that again? Sorry. I said, tell, tell the folks where back home is. You were talking about back home. Um, back home is, um, it's different. It's completely different. It's, um, it's, um, well, I always imagined it as a small version of New York. Um, how busy it is, um, how uh, packed it is. Um, I just, you know, it's something that you can just, you can really describe, you know, it's always, home. it's always good to be home. Uh, family are always there. Um, volleyball is pretty, pretty great over there. Um, we have a lot of people. Usually, whenever you walk in the street at 12 p.m. or you walk to in the middle of the 
um, of the night, you will still feel, you will see people. So um, it's a different culture, um, different environment. Everything is different, but it is amazing for sure. Well, that is fantastic. Well, I, not I have to tell you, it has been a privilege not only to have you on the program with me today. It's been a privilege to get to to watch. Uh, you from afar and get to follow the numbers, follow the stories and follow what you've done at park. And I know that they will remember you for years and decades to come. Your, your name is all over the record book. And we look forward to seeing what happens now from this point on, we'll continue to follow you and, and cheer you on in, in your volleyball career and more success to you. And, and again, congratulations to you, to Nora, to Deborah, to coach Talamantes and everyone for a great season. And thank you so much for taking time to be with us today here on the summit. Thank you. I really appreciate you having you having me. Thank you so much. <laughs>